So you'll notice that the output color is at auto detect. Most of the time that's how it's set. Um, this, is, this means that if you have a color document or a black and white document, the machine will detect and scan in the same uh, color or black and white. You can come here to force it in black and white or force it in color if you like. Right next to it, we'll find the two-sided scanning. This is if ever you have a two-sided document that you'd like to scan, you want to make sure that the machine scans both sides. You're going to come here and switch it to two-sided. Original type, it's set at photo and text, which means that for most of your documents, you're going to get a nice quality. If ever you have a photograph you'd like to scan, you can switch it to photo, or if it's just text, you can switch it to text. File name. So by default, what you're going to be receiving for file name can vary from organization to organization. We have a file name of scanned from a work center 7855 in this case. If you don't want that to be the file name, you want to name it yourself, just come here, press on the little C or the X here. It'll erase the text that's already written there, and you can type in whatever you'd like for the file name. You can press OK. You can also edit the subject. So from here, if you are sending this email, you want to send it to someone else and copy yourself, you could come here, edit the subject again, press on the little X, and put whatever you want for an email subject.